Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com. Today we're going to experiment with a combination of electro and acid etching. Trying to achieve a two-tone effect that will add a little bit of depth and a little bit of darkness to etching stainless steel. Before we go into this project, if you are a new knife maker, I've got a free offer at the end of this video that you might be interested in. Now, over the years, I've done a lot of etching. Most of it is, has been electro etching. Electro etching is, or can be, deep, so that the, the etched area itself has a little bit of relief to it. I've also done a little bit of acid etching, which is a different animal completely. It's a, more of a forced patina, more of a subtle effect. You can get two tones out of it, but it's really just changing uh, the color or the surface color of the material. So with any type of etching, you have to use a resist. Uh, I'm using a self-adhesive vinyl, which I cut out on a vinyl cutting machine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay an object over another object and cry, try to create some depth. When I do this, I have to then cut a space in between the two objects so that the, the object in the foreground, when, it, when the background gets etched, is well defined. I'm then going to block off the bottom uh, bevel or bottom edge of the knife, and that's going to act as the seabed. And I'm going to put all the vinyl in place on, on one side of the blade. Then I'm going to etch that. I'm going to electro etch it. Electro etching is done with, I do it with a, a 12 volt car battery charger, and in this case, a stainless steel electrolyte solution. Once the knife has been etched, I'm then going to dip it into acid. Then I'm going to remove the knife, remove some of the uh, self adhesive vinyl uh, decals or stickers, and then put the knife back into. Uh, the acid and hopefully that will create kind of a depth to the etching add a little character to the background objects but bear with me this is just, this entire knife is really just uh, just an experiment so here we go uh, all of the vinyl is in place uh, what I've got in my hand is a piece of angle iron it's got a hole drilled in one side that I attach uh, the negative lead from my car battery charger. Um, I wrap gauze around that angle iron. I saturate it in a stainless steel electrolyte solution. If you were going to etch high carbon steel, uh, all you would need is warm salt water as the electrolyte solution. Now notice I don't have a border, a vinyl border, protecting uh, the top surface of the blade or the spine of the blade. This is also an experiment. What I'm trying to do here is, is not have that gauze be very uh, damp so that no drips um, drip down over that spine or create you know etching on that spine. I'm just being really careful. I'm going to etch the entire surface of the blade for probably a minute and a half, but I do it in about 10 second intervals so that I don't build up a lot of heat. I'm always scared that the vinyl uh, will lose its adhesion if it gets too hot. Once one side is done, I'm going to flip the knife over and I'm going to apply my self-adhesive decals to the other side and I'm going to repeat that process. I have to do all of the electro etching first because then the whole blade is going to get dipped into the acid. So again, just with a damp gauze wrapped around my, my little piece of angle iron, I've got the positive lead from the 12 volt uh, two amp battery charger clipped to the blade and the, ne um, the negative clip to my angle iron. And I'm gonna etch every single area 10 seconds at a time uh, for a total time in each area of about a minute and a half. And that's gonna give it a nice deep etching. Not, not too deep, but, but deep enough to, to stand out. These chef's knives are not super thick. You, you, you can't do a, a drastically deep etch on them. Then I'm going to dip this in ferric chloride. Um, 
my container is just a two inch uh, piece of PVC with a cap. I've got it mounted onto a piece of um, a plastic board and then it sits in a bucket. I let it sit in there for 20 to 30 minutes. And then when I take it out, I'm gonna clean off or neutralize the acid with a mixture of warm water and baking soda. So, so the acid etching usually, I'm sorry, the electro etching usually I will I will remove all of the vinyl decals immediately after the electro etching and clean up the knife. I wasn't able to do that in this case, so I actually put the entire knife, uh, which was still all corroded and crudded up from the electro etching, directly into the acid. So I didn't know what to expect here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove uh, some of the vinyl from the objects that I want to be in the background. First thing I notice is the vinyl does get a little stiff um, and, and much more difficult to remove from the blade uh, after the acid etch. It's not undoable, it just it takes a little bit more effort. So here you see some of this shiny fish, that's the, that's the background items. So then I'm going to take this blade and I'm going to put it back uh, into the ferric chloride for another 15 to 20 minutes just to darken up uh, each of those background items. Then I take the knife out. Again, I'm going to remove the remaining vinyl, including the vinyl that covered uh, the actual uh, micro bevel. And at this point, I realize that I really don't want uh, that that sandy area at the bottom or the bevel area at the bottom to be shiny. And I don't want the remaining fish to be shiny. So one more time, I removed all of the vinyl uh, from the blade and I went back into uh, the acid etch one more time, you know, for another 15, 20 minutes. And then I repeated this process. I went with about a 1500 grit paper and just lightly cleaned up all of the edges. I always find that just, you know, giving a good rub down uh, with a, a fine grit paper, you know, really makes those, uh, those etchings nice and crisp and clean. So the final product, I, I did add walnut uh, handles and brass bolsters onto this knife, uh, but I was very pleased with the end product. I really did not get the extent of the two-tone uh, depth that I wanted to, um, and I'm going to experiment with that a little bit more, uh, and I might clean it up a little bit in between the electro etching and the actual acid etching. But overall, um, I, was, I was very happy with the results of the etching on this blade. Now, at the beginning of the video, I mentioned uh, a free giveaway. So if you go onto my website, which is uh, www.diyeasycrafts.com, this is a whole uh, do-it-yourself craft website, go on to knives, and then go on to knife handles. Uh, on the right-hand side, there'll be a couple of blue uh, buttons. If you click on that, there is a free uh, downloadable PDF that shows you step-by-step -step instructions on how to mount handles using the North Guard method. Illustrated instructions, step-by-step, -step, it makes it nice and easy. Uh, there's also uh, a PDF on that same page on how to make uh, and mount brass bolsters. And then if you go back up to knives and go to uh, bevel grinding, so just go to knives and then you Go down to uh, bevel grinding. And on this page, there's also a free downloadable uh, PDF. Again, there'll be a blue button. And this one is step-by-step -step instructions on how to use the new uh, tilt table uh, bevel grinding jig or bevel grinding uh, work surface.
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. If you did, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. By all means, check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. Check out all of our other how-to knife making videos. And please join Jason Northgard and I on our Facebook group, Knives and Knife Making. Thank you very much.